the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is two years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, will be my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. Misses there with the left. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big punch landing through the middle. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to go to the... Oh! Bad. Oh, big left hook there. And now he engages in a more tight clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, close tie. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, nice. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. This is with that punch. Look at how he 
turns his hip into that leg. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big head kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Missed with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Left hand punching the clinch. Way to hide that leg kick. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just misses with the jet. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Just missed with the left there. Nice strike. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Clean with the right hook. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skill, unbelievable striking. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. Second round underway. Beautiful punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. left hand has been really effective. Single collar tie now. They continue to exchange. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Got the single collar tie. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? A oh, little single collar tie there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Look at him working and trying to set the limit down. Choi gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie here. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Single 
collar tie now. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Oh, collar tie. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Big leg kick lands. Big kick. How good is that right hand? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Misses again with a right punch. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus fence in his opponent. Oh, he has landed a high volume. Whoa! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a to even be on his feet right now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Great punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Good punch. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right where he wants to be, in the place. Man, that cut has really opened up. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just out of range with that right hand. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they separate. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. How about that shin? Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big power shot there. And there comes the separation now. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, huge Superman punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Nice move for punch. And that one certainly found the target. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent in. Oh, oh, oh. the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice punch there by Chor. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. <laughs> This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high because he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And they separate. for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So 
Just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.